wifey. <laughs> I love it. Just left Moon Township Ford. We picked up the Raptor. Sunroof has been fixed. It was just some brackets that needed replaced. So pretty easy fix. It's also been inspected. So now it's good to go because we're actually going on a uh, road trip in the Raptor here soon. And wifey's driving the AMG and she's driving it like a boss. I love it. That thing sounds so good. It's the first time I'm really hearing it from outside of the car. I love you even more now when you give it the beans. Did you like it when mommy gave it the beans? <laughs> you didn't even go fast. It was just a sound. <laughs> well, good morning. It's a new day and it's time for some repetitive content. Of <laughs> and again. So what's up guys? Welcome back to the video. It's the next day and we're back here in Moon Township because we're going to go see our buddy Rich at Auto Illusions. There's some uh, upgrades I want to do to the AMG. Um, I hate chrome, you guys know that. So we got to take care of this. But as usual first, we need some gas. So in the not too distant future, we're getting new wheels and obviously new tires, which is why we slowly but surely is starting to wear the current tires down. And hopefully next week, we're doing a de-chroming process on the whole car, the grill, this part right here. Uh, I'm leaving the badges for now, chrome, door handles, all the trim around the windows, this trim right here and the Benz badge, but the C63 and AMG badge will stay chrome for now. We also have a personalized plate on the way. What's up? <laughs> hey, Brian. You made it here. I did make it here. Poor Brian, he's off work. Guy had a concussion, twice. Did you have two concussions? You had two bangs in your head. Oh, look at that. Nice hat. And the other one. Nice hat. So I wear this hat to protect my head. <laughs> so we're at Brian's house. We're doing some upgrading here to the AMG. And of course I need Brian's okay. house. So what are we doing? Well, you guys might remember the lovely steering wheel that we uh, installed here. It needs some upgrading. I got new software sent from the company who makes the uh, steering wheel. Look, the here. M4, look. <laughs> yeah, the M4 that we never, ever, 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 ever see. Ever. Brian has owned this car for over a year and a half now and he's put what, 1600 miles on it? 1500. 1500. Well, we're not for the next guy. You know, you gotta keep oh it tight my for the God. next guy. Brian, it's not like a limited edition LaFerrari or something. <laughs> it's a BMW M4. You gotta drive this thing. You do have some AFE power exhaust on there, though. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Got the little mode carbon spoiler. That's an awesome car, Brian. You can have to drive I mean, it. You, you want a cold start of my car? I mean, while you're here? Sure, why not? Definitely loud. <laughs> well, what do you know, Brian? What do you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. See? <laughs> you install this nice exhaust and stuff, and then you yeah. drive it even less. I got the intake on it. I got the Demon Stage 2 tune on it. Oh, come on, man. Sure. Yeah, it's tuned as well. It's got to be fast and as hell. We got a race. We got a race. Yeah, Mexico. You see all these other toys I have, so I, you know, I play with them. I don't have time to drive Oh, yeah, look before. at that. <laughs> so, are you putting this on your channel, Brian? No. What's up? What's up? Like when you play with these toys. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Yeah, dude. This is a lot of cool stuff here. <laughs> Look at this bike. I didn't I didn't even know you had this bike. Yeah, you, it was in one of your videos once, actually. It was? Yeah, I pulled up to the four dealer in it. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> I know nothing about bikes. Not that I know much about cars. I know all kinds of things about bikes. I'm sure you do. <laughs> got a dirt bike, too. 
Awesome. All right. Check this out. I found the perfect tool to get the airbag off. Oh, Isn't it, yeah. You know, yeah, GoPro. GoPro yeah. yeah. It's pretty ingenious, Mike. I know. I'm, I'm smart sometimes. <laughs> but obviously it doesn't work when I'm holding the camera. Best tool ever. Mm. It worked at home. All right. It's not working. It's not long enough? No, I mean, it worked when I was doing it at home. So the reason I'm here, actually, is because I was uh, going to do this at home by myself. <laughs> And uh, I, I can't get the uh, steering wheel bolt off with just this ratchet, so we're using Brian's power tools. Gotta feel it, Mike. Gotta feel it. I've stage fright, Brian. Stage fright. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the 15th time we've done this. Yeah, I've done it twice at home. <sighs> Brian, can, 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 can you get to work injury? here, please? <laughs> <sighs> I suck. Is this side off? No. Yay. All right, so Brian, of course, got the uh, steering wheel off here. All right, so what are we doing here? So Dave sent me, I guess you can call this like a new circuit board that sits inside the steering wheel. And then we also have new paddles and new uh, button panels here. And the reason they sent me that was because I did tell them that sometimes when I'm using the buttons, it, it's like there's a lag. Like I'll hit it and nothing happens. And then I'll hit it again, then it works. And that's kind of annoying, and I don't want that, of course. So they sent me some uh, new software here, or hardware maybe we should call it. And we're going to install it and see if it makes it better. This is more than we bargained for, Brian. Yeah, don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's not really that complicated. It's just that, you know, we, we just didn't know where to... It's not like we have instructions. There you go, Brian. <laughs> So we got this whole piece off here. We're gonna replace these button panels. All right, so we're replacing the uh, paddles here. It's just one wire and one little torque bit screw that holds them together inside the steering wheel. Get the wire through there. What the hell? I said don't mess up. I'm trying. Right? <laughs> right, so it's not biting. <sighs> Cut! <laughs> Go to commercial. Yeah, we, I think we need an ad right now. <laughs> All right, so we got the, the up paddle, the right paddle on. We're taking the left one off, and then we'll show the difference in the... So this one is a lot thinner. And the newer ones, see how this is thicker, this part right here. And there's, it's more of a click. Must be uh, just upgraded design in the actual paddles, which is good. All right, so here's the old circuit board, and this thing here is like a transformer um, that we think is part of the whole LED screen part here. Now, with the new circuit board that we just put in here, it doesn't they, they didn't put the transformer on there, so we're actually not going to connect these cables that obviously has to do with the actual LED part, but the rest of the functions with the paddles and everything will still work, and we're going to wait for another circuit board. <laughs> We're back. Brian, Brian why, why are you wearing different clothes? Huh? It's another day, Mike. It is another day. I've even shaved. I have a different t-shirt on. So very weird chain of events happened yesterday. We actually got the whole steering wheel put together, but uh, yeah, there, there was lack in communications or instructions rather of how we were supposed to do this because there were different parts. When we initially put the steering wheel together, we had this black dongle that was like some kind of transformer thing that hooks up to the LED functions on the steering wheel. Uh, we didn't know if we were gonna reuse that or not use it and uh, the company, not CKM uh, Car Design by the way, they're just a retailer, my boy Chris in Sweden. It's the OHC motors, the ones who actually manufacture this, these steering wheels. They never let us know that we're just supposed to use this plug right here and put the wires for the actual LED functions in there. Uh, it's a very, you know, simple and better solution than they had previously, but they never let us know about that. Yeah, it would be much easier when the steering wheel was apart to do that. Yes, <laughs> it would have. So instead, we just did not connect these and I drove home. Everything worked great with the paddles and uh, the buttons and everything. These buttons, that is the new uh, button panels on the side of the steering wheel. They worked 
great. Like the car shifts like it's supposed to. There's no lag, but the LED functions, uh, they just weren't working at all because we never connected. We didn't know what to do. Yeah, they weren't powered up. So now we're back. It's 24 hours <laughs> later. Very, I mean, on the dot, like 24 hours later. It's very weird. Same weather, different clothes, less beard <laughs> and hair. I probably got more beard. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess this is sort of a little bit like an update video on the steering wheel here and for people that have bought this for their cars I mean you can get them for several different not just Mercedes and maybe you've had the same issue now you know you know you can get upgraded um, software slash hardware and it'll work like it's supposed to Brian's a man always help me out <laughs> even with a concussion I try, I try my man and just like that we're done yeah look, look how easy this is look how different this setup yeah, much even less. though it's a lot of wires versus the old setup much less crap in there connect the battery all right so let's start it up there you go the lights are back and then all the buttons work thanks brian you the man bro i'm a steering wheel guru you are <laughs> you're an expert on this now now i am now oh, ohc on. motors they should freaking hire you you need to take your your family and move to china that'd be great <laughs> scaring the kids michael you're scaring the kids My son was like, is that there. your race car, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> is that Brian's son up there? What's up, dude? <laughs> All right, Brian. Again, thanks, man. I appreciate yeah, it. That was, much, that was easy today. I it's know. Really done it yesterday. You guys didn't see all the pain from yesterday, how confused we were and stuff like that. <laughs> when you don't have a concussion anymore, oh, M4 yeah. versus C63. Oh, it's all. It's all. I mean, you don't really have a concussion, but you need to rest. You, rest. you can't be fainting at the wheel and stuff. <laughs> no, that would be bad. That would be bad. <laughs> all right, we're out. So finally it works like it should. The problem I was having uh, previously was paddles and the buttons, they, they would work occasionally, but all of a sudden they would just stop working. It was like they would start working after five seconds again. So I'm in fourth, not shifting to fifth. There it shifted to fifth. So very laggy upshift paddle. And when I'm driving in manual mode, and maybe you get on it and you want to shift to second gear, it wouldn't shift. So that's why I reached out to CKM Car Design and told them about this issue. And Chris, who owns the company, he reached out to OHC Motors, and that's when they sent me the uh, updated software. So everything works so much better now. I mean, I wish it would have worked like this from the get-go, but sometimes it doesn't. That's just how it is with aftermarket parts. So huge thanks to uh, Chris at CKM for, you know, having good customer service <laughs> and like always answering my questions and reaching out to the manufacturer and so on and getting this whole little glitch taken care of and the click feel of the new paddles is so much better I mean it's such a difference I can't remember if my 205 had these exact paddles as well or the same design it's just a, a different feel in the end. I love it. <laughs> so, on this channel, I try to provide a great variety of content. As you guys know, we have the Ferrari F12, my dream supercar. We also have the AMG. That was featured in today's video. We have the truck as well. We also have another truck and then we've also had hoopty. So in a way, we have cars in completely different price ranges. I get people telling me every now and then, like I can't relate to the Ferrari and the Conta because I'll never be able to afford a car like that. And I can understand that to a certain point, which is why I like having cars in, in different ranges. You know, the AMG, I bought that used for $28,000. A lot of people can afford that. 
the truck that was a build you know that's something that a lot of people can relate to and hoopties I mean who hasn't owned a hoopty uh, at some point in their life and that's what I want to talk about as well it is time for another hoopty now that finally PA is opening up car dealerships are open again because that's in my opinion the kind of content that's been missing we have the supercar content we have the German muscle car content in the AMG we had some BMW content when we had the V10 M5 and we have truck content now we need again hoopty stuff I miss it I miss it I mean it's a completely different world from this of course I love this car to death but I miss the hoopty videos you know crashing into Brian's car doing crazy experiments it's time for that again so I wanted to ask you guys is there a specific type of car that you guys would like to see on the channel in terms of a hoopty and what would you like to see I mean I just mention a couple things that we did with the previous hoopty but is there anything specific that you guys want to see because it's time to go buy another one but what I've noticed is that it's hard to find those type of vehicles so maybe you guys can leave an input in the comments of what you would like to see and the type of content you would like to see as well of course I have ideas and videos that we will be doing but is there anything specific that you guys want to see let me know but this is the first time I'm driving the Ferrari in like two weeks and I mean every time I take it out it just brings the same joy the same emotions that it did the first day that I picked it up so again I want to thank you guys for supporting the channel throughout the years because it's a big part of me being able to own this car so with all that being said we're gonna end today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it it we were kind of a little bit all over the place but it was fun to once again meet up with Brian the poor guy had a concussion he was puking and fainting and stuff like that I mean I don't mean to laugh but give the guy a follow he's a great guy always helps me out you've seen him in tons of videos so if you haven't already go subscribe to his channel so there it is Ferrari back in the garage we got the AMG in the driveway wifey's out we got the truck sitting here we're actually waiting for a fellow youtuber who's coming over real quick and then we're going to pick up his thousand horsepower Corvette so that's in the next video and this is gonna wrap up today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did you know what to do give it a huge thumbs up stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to Please subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.